Recent updates to Sketch have brought a number of seemingly small quality of life improvements that can affect your productivity in a big way, especially when it comes to layer selection and keyboard shortcuts. So let's take a look at five tips to help you take full advantage of what's new in Sketch. First, the amount of friction has been reduced when clicking into groups. You've always been able to dive deeper into groups by double clicking on them, but now if you follow up that double click with a single click, you can go multiple levels deep with just single clicks without having to double click over and over and over again. So now to get eight levels deep, you only have to click nine times instead of 16. And now when diving into groups, you can also hold the shift key to add layers within groups to your existing selection. Locking and hiding layers has always been a great way to avoid selecting things accidentally. But sometimes you already have a locked layer selected. For example, I can click a layer on the layers list to add it to my selection. And in the past, if I were to hit command A for select all, it would deselect the layer that I already have selected because it's locked. Now, command A will respect if a locked layer or locked layers are already selected and will only add to that selection. Any locked or hidden layers that weren't already selected will be ignored, but there's a new menu item for select all layers with hidden and locked layers included. And the keyboard shortcut for that is Option Command A. Now when you have multiple groups selected, you can hit the return key on the keyboard to not just dive into the first group selected, but to simultaneously dive into all of the groups selected, selecting their first child element. You can also now use the tab key to navigate in all of the selected groups at the same time so that you can find a layer on the keyboard with tab or shift tab and then manipulate those layers without ever having to hunt and peck with the mouse. And as always, you can use the escape key to go up a level in addition to the return key to go down a level. But now, if you want to deselect all, rather than tapping the escape key over and over again, you can now press command escape to immediately deselect all. Tab and Shift Tab have always been used to select the next layer or the previous layer on the layers list. But now, even if you have nothing selected, Tab will immediately select the artboard that you previously had selected, allowing you to start with keyboard navigation rather than first having to click on an object. Another great quality of life improvement is when you delete a layer from the layers list, Sketch will automatically select the next layer instead of deselecting altogether. This makes it a lot easier to stay within the group that you're already in or delete additional layers that were adjacent to the previous one. In the past, we've had Control G and Control L to toggle the grid and layout overlays. Now we have Control Command G to pull up the grid settings and Control Command L to pull up the layout settings respectively. And another great new keyboard shortcut is the ability to lock or unlock the proportions of a layer directly from the keyboard using Option, Command, L. If you're wondering, hey, how am I supposed to remember all this? We've also gone ahead and added some new menu items, including the respective keyboard shortcuts directly to the menu bar, which includes all the new keyboard shortcuts shown in this video. That's it. Now head to Sketch, practice what you learned, and we'll see you soon. Bye.